Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. We are here today with, it's a bit of a bittersweet moment, but it is the wrap-up video for the last cruise of Mega Vacay 2020. So sad. The Crown Princess. It was a while ago though, so I guess we're okay now. That's true. We're recording <laughs> it four months after we got back from the cruise. Yeah. Anyway, so can we remember? Can we rack our brains? Ooh. Well, we just watched the video series. Yeah, so. that helps. Not bad, but I've got my phone. I made like a list of categories, talking points, and things like that. So we can pretend to be organized. You're in charge. You like that? <laughs> all right, well, we'll start off, obviously. I figured we're going to make this more about the ship and all of that stuff. Not so much the ports. Right. We've talked about the ports before. Southern Caribbean, we love it. Amazing. Uh, let's talk about the ship overall. So like the layout and the amenities of the ship. I mean, I found it to be a pretty easy to navigate ship. Yeah. You know, we've been on some pretty choppy ships before. Right, where you feel right. like you go to a certain deck and you get stuck and you can't, you can't go. go. Up or down. <laughs> I didn't find that feeling on the crown. No, no. Um, so I feel like it was laid out pretty well. The only one thing that was funny is you trying to find the grand entrance to the theater. <laughs> anyway, we realized that the entrance to the theater that I think is on it's deck a seven. <laughs> it's not as grand, but the official entrance is actually I think on it's seven. Okay. We kept going in on six, but it's still not not beautiful. But it's yeah, okay. yeah. But I like. I mean the. Overall decor yeah. and everything of it, especially sitting in the lobby and you're looking up at like that beautiful, I don't even know what it is. It was pretty. Chandelier? We can call it that. Sure. I don't I don't know if there was any lights at all. It was like this dome thing that yeah. came out and I don't know, it, it felt like a fancy. nice, fancy, a sophisticated fancy. ship. You like how the southern accents come out when we talk about fanciness? <laughs> No, I thought it was nice. Um, one thing I really liked about it was the lounges. They had several hmm. different lounges and they were a good size for different Lovely venues lounges. that they would host in there. So if you didn't go to the main show, oftentimes they'd have like a magician mm. or some sort of special like music or something. Lady. She was good. Yeah. It was awesome, but it was in like the other smaller venues, but it was still large enough for the people who wanted to attend to go. And then they had game shows in there at night. So it broke it up a little bit. You weren't always in the same spot, which was cool. True. Because I think the main theater up front only held about 800 people, if yeah. I, my memory serves. So yeah. not the biggest of main theaters. No. But I mean, it was sufficient. But yeah. yeah, like the Club Fusion and the Explorers Lounge, they, they really had nice. lots of seating. Yeah. So really cool venues around the ship. Outdoor seating was good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we like the ship overall. Like yes. I said before, we never really met a ship we didn't <laughs> like. You know, it's not hard for us to no. like a ship, but Just we really did. You like. uh, the cabin itself. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was nice. We had a standard interior. The bed was amazing. Bed was amazing. The bed, the bed was so soft. Pillows were pretty good. The pillows were a little too soft. By for the your end liking. of it, I could have used like more firm pillows, but that's just a preference. That's just for a preference. Me, so. um, but the closet space, that was a big closet up in that unit. Giant television. Yeah. Now, the sad thing is, I think they took the space for the closet out of the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom left a little to be desired. Yeah, especially the shower, but we've already talked about My the shower. My least favorite shower, just for height. If you're tall like we yeah. are, it's not the best. But the room overall was nice. And people were saying it's a little dated and things like that. And but we've never this is our really first princess us. ship, so I have nothing else to compare uh, yeah. it to. I didn't think it was dated. You don't spend that much time in there personally. I thought it was nice. Yeah. Now we didn't touch on it very much in the vlogs, but I feel like we probably should discuss, and I'm sure this is something that's changing in the future, the cleanliness of the cabin. Now the funny thing was when we posted the video, I mean we didn't say anything about it in the video, other than we walked in and we had those like uh pee pee, -pee, -pee pads. <laughs> Up in the cabinet what and there was a chocolate left in the safe yeah uh but um people in the video just noticed they're like those walls are filthy the cabinets are filthy i didn't notice um it's i mean like we kind of people no no but we wiped the entire cabin down because yeah. i did notice on my side table there was like a streak and mm -hmm. i was like hmm, i wonder if that's easily cleanable oh it's gone so right. the, the cabin had not been cleaned as thoroughly as it could have been it needed a little more love there, but a little bit. And yeah. there was a, a questionable yellowish of uh, stain on our duvet, on the top of the duvet, that I think might have been tied in with those pee pee pads yeah. from the person before <laughs> us. But anyway, cabin cleanliness. Changed. Yeah. And, and you know what? In light of the changes in the world right now, I have a feeling they're going to be stepping up that clean. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't really talk about that too much in the series. But no. you know what? We got to be real. We got to put everything in a video eventually. Yeah. And it could just be, you know, the. The cabin steward we had. He was and, short. Well, <laughs> he's little. He probably just couldn't see some of this stuff. Poor and that's man. not his fault. They nice. work so hard though, guys. So, yeah. yeah. He was nice, but he Super couldn't, sweet. He couldn't see everything. He probably couldn't <laughs> reach everything. It's cool. It's cool. He worked hard. 
All right. Hey. So, any other thoughts on the ship? That's my mo my main thing. Gosh, we talked about that really fast. We um, did. They had really nice pools. We never got to experience them, oh, but they true. seemed really nice and deep. A lot of the food venues. Now, I have food as a separate category, okay, but this true. is literally things on the ship. Yeah, my categories coming up are food and entertainment. So anything that doesn't mm. pertain to food and entertainment. We uh, walked around the ship like on the very last day. I know. <laughs> got yeah. To fully explore. I was gonna say I feel like we talked about the ship a good amount already, but yeah, that is funny that we waited to the last day to actually see the entire back of the ship. <laughs> No, it was a nice layout, a good feeling. It never felt overcrowded, which True. I loved. Um, I like the way they did movies on deck. I don't know mm, if you have that in there, but no, that is that's something good. really nice on Princess that they oh, offer. Gosh. And you could sit where Jay and I sat, or there was higher seating, like two decks up, which I'm not sure what the views would be like. I'm sure they were good up Who there. Who cares? Too. Those kind of loungers? I don't and care what the, the view the is. they the same loungers up there as I well. I don't care what the view is. If I got that lounger <laughs> and that popcorn, because it was buttered popcorn we found yep. out, and we wish we got more of it. No, it was good. Yeah. I think that's good. Okay, so sure. if we think of more things about I'm the sure ship, we'll just, we'll just throw it in. Say it. You know how this works. Uh, so my next category is food, and obviously, I guess we can start off. We'll just talk about the dining room and the buffets and random stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, how do we want to start that? I guess dining room overall, I enjoyed Amazing. the food. Amazing. Um, it was really good food. Yeah. We ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and of course, mm -hmm. we've got a dinner food feature coming up later this week. Oh, good. Uh, but we never really took, I didn't show the breakfast menu or the lunch menu in the vlogs. And I do have some of that footage. I'll probably just pop it in here over our faces at some point. <laughs> the breakfast menu was a little limited for my taste. There was, there was some good stuff it on it. It was good though. But the buffet was so much more variety for breakfast. And there's two different buffets. One seemed to offer more than the True. other. True, Horizon Carib Core. And, Her and Horizon? Yeah, Horizon, typically yeah. the buffets were a little bigger than Carib. So they didn't like, we would find, we were sitting by the smaller one and tend to go there, but we yeah. liked the variety more at the Horizon. Quarters. That's true. And they're next door neighbors. Kareem yeah. is literally at the back it's of the ship. Hard and Horizon is just one section forward. But yeah. a lot of buffet lines. So much stuff. And they force you to use hand sanitizer before I you go love in. that. They watch. They're yep. like <laughs> you not getting in if you don't <laughs> use it. But yeah, the food overall, I like the different theme nights for dinner. Yeah. We checked out a couple of them. They had like the Indian night. Somebody said they had German night, which I totally missed. I saw that they did. I think we were eating oh, in the dining room. But anyway. Yeah. The we food, tried to do a little bit of everything. The food overall first was good. Princess. Yeah. And um, we, we totally missed out on the Ernesto burger. Everybody's like, get I it. Know. And the funny thing is, it was on like a dinner menu or a lunch menu one night. Which, was um, it? Yeah, I saw it on a menu. It could have been for lunch. And I totally didn't get it. We we didn't get the fettuccine alfredo. We didn't get the Ernesto burger. We We're failed. noobs. We didn't. We didn't do you. breakfast at the International Cafe. We suck. Y'all. <laughs> what in the world? You know, we were too busy singing in a pop choir. That's what it was. We had fun though, so we that's did. that's what matters. But now we know what to do when we go again. Yeah. So. And one other thing that I also loved, at dinner every night, they had different ice cream flavors. There were yeah. usually three flavors and they were such interesting stuff. Like there was a, I think it was like a vodka, the alcohol lime, ones sherbet. Were strong. They were good. <laughs> and they changed every night and I usually got them all every night. <laughs> Ugh. Their sugar-free desserts are really good too, good but to um, I think I had my favorite overall menu. It was like a fisherman stew oh, with the Bahamian fish like stew. popover kind mm -hmm. of. They Johnny don't have cakes. donut hole Johnny yeah. cakes. Yeah, so good. It was just fresh seafood, delicious. My favorite thing I've ever had on a ship. I don't that even think we like dwelled amazing. on that too much. We did. We were busy, but get wow. that. It's so good. Wow. <laughs> favorite dish ever. Yeah. Um, but getting away from the dining room a little bit, International Cafe, I touched on it so, earlier. That was a good That's spot. our favorite, like, included 24 cafe, hour? 24 it... hour meal. I think we did say that. So. Yeah. But so we missed much... breakfast. How did we miss breakfast there? We were busy. Such we were a bad. good variety, though. Yeah. Lunch good. You love that watermelon caprese. <laughs> it's so fresh. Uh, but yeah, I guess lunch and dinner had the same options, uh, mm -hmm. but it, uh, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, the only other one I had on food, of course, is you have to touch on tea time. Mm-hmm. Did you like tea time? Tea time was amazing. Was we found good. it on like the last day. We wish we had gone more. I mean, we no. knew. It. Well, actually, we I don't. don't because we would have gained more weight. I would have eaten it every day, and I'm <laughs> glad I didn't because holy moly, it was good. It's good. It's not to be missed. What's so, your favorite thing at the tea time? The scones. Mm. Oh, they come around and they're like fresh and hot, oh, and I think they're. I think they're in tin foil or something. I don't care. That's I don't know. I love and the cream that's I'd in it. I eat the foil. <laughs> the <laughs> jam. Good stuff. I'm really hungry now. Dang it. <laughs> Making us hungry. You also. So let's see. So they had the grill with burgers and, and hot dogs. Okay, yeah. And they have a coffee and cones where the ice cream was and included. And pizza's there too. The regular ice cream. They had some specialty stuff which was mm. not included. Yeah, Slice was the pizzeria next pizza. door to that. 
They had a good variety of different options. Yeah, what other food venue I think? Oh, the British, the pub lunch. Yeah. We had pub lunch at the Wheelhouse? Wheelhouse. Or the Crown Grill. Crown, Crown Grill. Grill. Which is their steakhouse, which we did not eat Correct. At. We ate pub lunch, which was super good. It was offered twice on our 10 day cruise and it was it's different included. menus. Yeah, and it's included. We're excited. That's enough. We're just like, yay! That's enough food. We didn't order room service. We got to check that out at some point. We had one morning. Yeah, true. That doesn't count. Anyway. We were busy. Y'all, anyway, we did everything Too much we food. Could. All right, let's jump into entertainment. So let's talk about entertainment, specifically the cruise director and the staff. One of my favorite cruise directors. That's I don't know really what story. I was about to say. Mm. Paul Chandler Burns. He has such good, dry, it's funny, British. sarcastic British humor, British and I love it. It's yeah. smart, very clever man. Yeah. Yeah. R right up there at the top of the love list him. of cruise directors. He's um, so good. And the, the staff. Staff overall. Interacted with him really well. Gosh, can I remember? Okay, we had Mark. No. Okay, Mark. Chad. Chad. Brian. Nat Natty. Okay, I'll let you go. That's Brian. Brian. Natty. Natty. Bree. Bree. Fortuna Luck. I don't actually know her no, real name. Know. Guys, there's a, people don't like Fortuna Luck. Let's don't talk about that. I think that might... Did we miss anybody? It's a character that's recurring on all the ships. But no, I wouldn't... Yeah, for, for Fortuna Luck, I don't know her real name was the bingo host. No, I don't know. I think that's it. If I think we, we got somebody, them all. Oops. But yeah, they were... They were all fun. amazing. Yeah. A lot of fun. And then in that same vein, I just... So talking about the different games and the activities and all that stuff. I'll yeah, you say Princess words. does a really good job with their game shows. There's such mm. a good variety, stuff we've never seen on any other cruise line before. And I love the way they get everybody involved. True. A lot of it is audience participation where you'll write something down on a piece of paper and take it up. Oh, and, yeah. And, and everybody can play. It's like not one, just like a select few. I forgot what it was called, where you had to like make up a caption for a yeah. funny picture. And whoever had the funniest caption would win. And the yes, no game, pulling people up to do that. It was so much Liars fun. Club, where you had to vote mm -hmm. who you thought was telling the truth about some PG sounding words. Jeopardy. We, everybody yeah, could play that. Yeah, that was fun too. Um, 60 seconds or you mm -hmm. know, to stop the clock. There was just so many fun games. A lot of games. new stuff. We found ourselves at, like at every single type of game Pretty show much. I think that they offered just to see what they were going to do. And you did line dancing and Zumba yeah. and who They knows? had like a little bit of everything. I know people were like, it's for older people, but we you had a what? blast. We, we loved it. We are going to find fun stuff to do. Yeah. And of course the main fun stuff we found to do was the steel drum class, <laughs> the pop choir. <laughs> Voice of the ocean. They had lots of karaoke if you they like do. singing. So. Yeah. So of course you saw our experiences with the steel drum class, the pop choir, and the voice of the yeah. ocean. Just fun stuff. We had I, a lot of fun activities. I think they definitely amp it up at night. Like during the day, it's a little calmer with activities. Everybody goes to sleep at night. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no. But that's oh. when they have all the game shows. They have deck parties, movies under the star. There's a lot to do. You can go to yeah. the casino. For the people who stay awake. <laughs> there are things to do at night. There is a nightclub. No. We did not go to no, it. One of my, my next thing was actually talking about the crowd. It obviously is uh, an older crowd with a little bit of an earlier bedtime. Have patience. Walk slow. Slow walkers. <laughs> you, that's, yeah. That was my biggest pet peeve, um, but we got used to it. And we went to a couple of the deck parties, and they are not, you know, yeah. overall deck party dancing folks. Well, there was a crowd that was... Yeah, they were doing the hustle yeah, and stuff. I was on the top deck. I couldn't go down and join them. Yeah, true. So, but you know, it's it's definitely a more laid back experience and I think it took you a hot minute to get into it. It did. Our first day on the ship, I think you were sort of on the fence until maybe that evening. And then I was like, ooh, this is fun. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was just because we had just come off of was it MS? Uh, the Armonia. Yeah, MSC, and it was just action, 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 and I think it, it was, was different. It was yeah. good, but um, yeah, but I remember we, like we had lunch with somebody who was very sort of particular, or not with or next to. They it were was very dinner. Partic okay, particular. Okay, I kind of was their afraid food. that they were going to be snooty, a little snooty, uh -huh. and I, I don't ever want to call people that. But it, the first person we sat with Snobby. Was, it was a little bit Snotty like that. I'm like, oh no, is everybody going to be like that? Can we just have laid no. back nice people? And then we did meet lots of nice yes, people. Yes, we got into like the Jeopardy game. We started <laughs> having fun. And by the end of the first night, you were like, okay, we can, we can be princess people. But yeah. that was probably the longest it's taken us to get into a flow on a ship. It took us almost a whole like eight hours. I oh think gosh, I was just worried that it was going to be... A bunch of snobby people. Well, I mean... <laughs> We just had to become the snobby we people. We are not snobby people, mm -hmm. so, and yes, I don't yes. mean to call out anybody. It was just very particular and made dinner it mate, known. If you're watching this video, dinner mate, we apologize. First night dinner mate. I don't think whoever they know who you they were. Are. I don't even. I don't remember them really. But anyway, 
funny. But yeah, no, we really loved it. <laughs> uh, and that's really about all. I have a little bit of bonus footage that I'm going to put in at the end of this video. We have a couple of snippets I cut out of Grenada and that I cut out of Dominica and stuff like that. So watch to the end if you want to see. We don't really do bloopers. A lot of people say, no. put bloopers in your videos. Well, we don't really sit down and go like, okay, take one. And then if we mess up, we start over and go, take two. We just keep going. Obviously, we've just been all over the place. We just keep talking. talking. Yeah, if, if I mess up, I'm just like, that's not the word I want So we don't really have bloopers. No. But anyway, some of the episodes get long and I do cut footage. So anyway, random footage coming up later. But that's actually all I had on the list for the um Crown Princess. Do you have any other words? Did I mean, we we've been sense? yakking for like 14 minutes. I was like, did we actually make sense? You know what? what we said? said smart words. I will. Okay, let me also <laughs> point out, we were on an ocean medallion, a medallion, a medallion oh, class yeah. ship. So we did have the ocean medallion and I'm thinking about doing a separate ocean medallion video, but we didn't really explore the ocean medallion as well as we could. By the end of the cruise, we were so busy going to rehearsals and things, but the ocean medallion is like, it tracks your location on the ship. It lets you into your cabin when you that get close. Cool. Uh, you can play, you can play the casino on it. You can order it. drinks. Oh yeah, that was good. And too. you get a free drink. Maybe yeah, not on every cruise. But. On your first purchase or something. Yeah, like, but I was day. surprised you could actually play like real casino games mm -hmm. on it because I won like 50 bucks and I had to go to the casino to cash it out. I mean, that it's legit cool. tied into the casino. I played like three slot machine spins, won 50 bucks, and I'm like, hey, So cash if you don't out. like smoking, and they do have, oh, one thing I did like on formal night, I think the casino was smoke free. Oh. Something cool. I, did I not thought that. that was really neat, um, you know, for those that want to go in the casino but don't necessarily need to be around okay. all the smoke. And then you can also game on your phone which was cool yeah that was fun we were just yeah. sitting there waiting for a show i decided to play some <laughs> slot machines and and i won some money oh the shows the shows are really good yeah that was under entertainment everywhere. yeah so we'll just go back to a category this is why we don't edit and have bloopers we'll just talk ourselves in a circle oh, this is my favorite. yeah just talk about the shows no the shows were really good the cast was amazing and my favorite was probably the opera show they yeah. brought in a like an uh a professional opera singer mm. they flew her in she was amazing i cannot think of her name we just talked so long the camera cut <laughs> off anyway i turned it back on here we are uh but yeah i don't remember her name i know i'm going to be doing the princess patters feature as well okay. and that'll have her name in there she but like was so good. you couldn't record any of the no, shows that's that was the only okay. thing but that was okay. we respect the rules and we understand that they work hard yeah. to put those out and not wanting people to copy them so yeah true yeah. What else we got to talk about? That's it, right? Because <laughs> we've already okay. talked until the camera turned off. So I, I think, think we're done. We got to wrap it up on this Crown Princess. So hopefully you did enjoy the series and the whole mega vacation, y'all. Yeah. Go watch it if you haven't. Man. It started with Disney World and Six ended at Crown Princess. cruises and a week at Disney. Holy moly. We are very fortunate to get all that in for sure. But I guess that's it for the Crown Princess. So if you have any other questions, just pop them down below. I will try to be as helpful as I can. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. So if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on. And stay tuned for Grenada and Dominica footage. Do it. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We talk in circles. Oh, no. <laughs> There's mine. Woo. Oh, yep. Almost slipped. Cool. All right. I'm going to show you the river now. So this is one of the last parts. Yay! Whew. It's a little steep. Kind of an incline. I'm walking down here. Whoa, tripping over rocks. Cool. Let's see if I can cross the river while vlogging. This may not be a good idea and Jay might get really angry. We'll see. He's never angry though. All right, so if you just walk through it, I said that's the easiest and I am wearing water shoes and they do need a good cleaning so this is a win-win right now all right it's pretty oh it feels so refreshing it's not too bad and now my shoes are mostly clean and then we walk up this big hill full of rocks so you gotta get your footing back after walking in water just now Mercy, I was down here socializing all the media because, well, I can pick up the medallion net internet from the ship out here, and Dee is making some caca friends. Unbelievable. Oh, he was holding his little foot up. That was cute. Yeah, he sits there and stands on one foot. What's he think he's a flamingo? I don't think it's a flamingo. They have red eyes. Interesting. So do I when I wake up too early. <laughs> That's an idea. 
That's what you do. D, nature photographer.